Welcome back to the High Five Challenge. I'm your host, Wayne Falagowski. Well, we've got the red team done. Now we've got the blue team standing by. Oh, no, we actually have Team White. So, Jeremiah, let's meet the Team White. Okay, we are back, and we got the blue team here. Give us a no, white team. Oh, excuse me, white That's team. That's right. I was thinking about my blue mic. Sorry, okay. <laughs> They're coming up next. All right, white team, give us your name. Claire. And Claire, give us a fun fact about you. Don't like pineapples. You do not like pineapples. So if you're looking for, luckily, no pineapples in the prize packs today, Claire. And give us your name. Jason. And Jason, what's a fun fact about you? I really enjoy playing indoor soccer with my son, Avery. Indoor <laughs> soccer with his son. That okay. is awesome. You embarrassed him a little. <laughs> Perfect. All right. <laughs> and give us your name. Marilyn. And Marilyn, you're with Piece of Cake Portland. Yep. And we were just on the cooking channel, Sugar Showdown, and won in October. Congratulations. Let's give her an applause. I'm One of word. Portland's own on the Sugar Showdown. And so you're familiar with television. She's going to be fine with this. And here's Andrew. Mm -hmm. You have a fun fact, don't you? Yes. What is it? He's my grandpa. Oh, damn. Uh, <laughs> so Wayne is your grandpa. Yep. All right. But he didn't write any of the questions. Yeah, he oh. didn't get any insider advantage, but you're going to be the team captain, so you got a lot of responsibility. Are you up to it? Mm-hmm. Yep. I believe you are. All right, okay. Wayne. Back to you. Thank you, Jeremiah. Okay, let's get started. We have 15 questions. The quicker you can answer, the more points you get for your team. Here we go with question number one. This U.S. city was the first to host the Olympic Games in 1904. The first city to host the Olympic Games in 1904. Three, Look it up on your host cell phone. The Olympics. The first U.S. city to host the Olympic Games. Your lifelines are active now. The host. Quickly. Oh okay, we have time fleeting. Time is just about up. All right. Missouri. Quickly. Louis, Missouri. Quickly. Andrew, you State. Have Missouri. St. Louis, Missouri. Right, here we go. Writer Eric Blair was better known by this, his pen name. Also the author of 1984. How's that? A little hint. Go to your lifelines here pretty quick. Wait, what? Eric Blair, better known by this, his pen name. He's also the author of 1984. Who wrote, who wrote Wait, 1984? What? George, George Orwell. Orwell. Okay. George Orwell. That's correct. George Orwell. Very good. Okay. So let's hear a little applause for him. All right. Here we go. Lemurs are a type of primate who are native to this island nation. Madagascar. Madagascar is correct. Very good. Now you're learning how to play the game. All right. He said it with conviction, too. All right. Here we go. This is the most abundant of elements in the Earth's atmosphere. Okay, quickly talk it over 10 seconds. Nitrogen. Nitrogen is correct. Okay. Very good. All right. All right, here we go. In movies, this is the term used for a clue or a piece of information that is intended to be misleading. A misleading clue in movies is called what? You have 10 seconds to talk, talk it over. Now go to your lifelines. What's a clue intended to be misleading? misleading? Quickly, nobody knows it? What do you have? Red herring. Red, her red herring? Red herring. Very good. You got to give it That's to your exactly captain. That's exactly what I got. Okay, you got to say it out as soon as you he find it. it okay, here we go. Okay. This U.S. city has been hit the most by tornadoes. Okay, you have 10 seconds. This U.S. city has been hit most by tornadoes. Lifelines, go to your lifelines. Kansas? Kansas? That is incorrect. Sorry, you lose all 30 points. It is Oklahoma City. This isn't too far back to recall. Name the host city for the 2012 Summer Olympic Games in 2012. Say it again. The host city for the 2012 Summer Olympic Games. Go to your lifelines. Beijing. That is incorrect. It is not Beijing. It is London, England. All right, here we go with another question. 
When you communicate via radio signals, this is the word you use when a message is received. The message is what? Is received. When you commute via, via radio oh signals, God. this is the word you use when a message is received. 10-4. 10 10-4. That is incorrect. Go to your lifelines. Quickly, go to your li lifelines. When a message is received. What is it? When a message is received. Oh my God, it's not showing anything. What is it? Quickly, time is allowed, anything. ready to expire. Literally. Okay, that's Roger. it. Roger. Roger's too late, though. It's correct, but you have to say it God, within 30 seconds. It show All right, here we go. Mark David Chapman shot and killed this famous musician in 1980. John Lennon. What? Andrew. John Lennon. John Lennon is correct. Very good. All right, he got it. John Lennon. Marco. You got it, okay, very good. A little applause for Andrew here. All right. He already knew. Although he it's the knew. smallest U.S. state, Rhode Island has the longest official name. Name it. What is the official state of Rhode Island's official name? Official name. Quickly, you have 10 seconds. Okay, let me hear it. State of Rhode Island and Providence Plantation. That's correct. Okay, very good. <laughs> you guys got to get these answers to him yeah, real quick. Yeah, I got it. These fascinating animals reportedly have the fastest metabolism. Me metabolism? Metabolism. In other words, their heartbeat. I have no idea. These fascinating animals reportedly have the fastest metabolism. Oh okay, go to your lifelines, which you've already done. Is it elephant? Quickly, time is fleeting. Is it elephant? Oh. Elephant! That is incorrect. <laughs> it's just the opposite of an elephant. It is a hummingbird. Oh. A hummingbird. Darn, it was right. Look. How come we're not seeing it? Okay, okay here we go. Liars. Listen up. According to the moss scale, this mineral is the hardest mineral. The moss scale. Diamond. Diamond is correct. Very yeah. good. Okay. In the mid 50s, Elvis Presley appeared in this flit, his first of many Hollywood movies. The first movie that Elvis Presley appeared in in 1955. Elvis, Elvis Presley's first movie. Go to your lifelines. Go to your lifelines. First Elvis movie. I'd sing it, but I don't want to. Listen. Love Me Tender. Love Me Tender is yeah. correct. Very good. That came out of the audience. That's how the audience can help. Hey. All right, question number 14. 640 acres add up to this basic measurement. 640 acres add up to this basic measurement. Quickly, you talk it over. What do you think? Okay. Oh, I, Go I got to your it. Line. I got it. What is Either it? Hector or square mile? Square mile? One square mile is correct. Very good. All right. Our last question for this round. Since Neil Armstrong first have stepped on the moon in 1969, a total of this many more astronauts have also accomplished that feat. So how many people have walked on the moon since Neil Armstrong? That was in 1969. Go to your lifelines. We'll give you that. OK. I know. 12. That is incorrect. It is 11. It was a kind of a trick question. All right, we're going to take a break. We'll add up their scores. We'll be right back, and we'll meet the blue team. Oh my God! There's more high five to come.